everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara Kalala and today I'm going to be customising a tea set. So I've taken everything out the box. So it came with the paints, you know, those bog sand paints that you always get in like craft kits. Obviously a little paintbrush. And then we've got the teacups, the cake plate, and then the teapot. Super cute. I love how tiny those are. I wish you could drink out of these. I mean, it would only be one sip. Mm, lovely tea we're having, but um, it wouldn't really work out well if you're really thirsty. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with like um, a few characters. I think I'm gonna do like Hello Kitty, uh, My Melody, Cinema Roll, and probably Chromie. Or maybe a little Twin Stars. I'll see how I go as I do it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the design. For this project, I'm going to be using some acrylic paint pens. So I have Posca's and also another brand I got from Amazon. I can't remember how to uh, pronounce it. Yeah, but I keep with these in my Pusheen like makeup bag that actually a friend gave to me, so that's really handy. I started with my Melody and I'm actually drawing on one of the teacup saucers. So I drew out like the flower that my Melody has on her head and I'm just using like a black kind of fine line pen and also just a, an acrylic paint pen in yellow to do the little dot in the middle of the flower. Then I moved on to the cake plate and I drew out my Melody's face. So I did use a reference, I just googled my Melody on my phone and I was looking at that as I was drawing it. There is no way I could draw anything from memory unless it was basically like a simple circle as I'm not very good at that. So yeah, I just use a pink pen and then again that black pen. So this black pen is actually like water-based and something else so it did take a while to dry longer than the actual Posca's or the like acrylic paint pens that I'm using so I was a bit careful because I didn't want it to smudge and for example the plate you can see in the right hand corner I had to leave that to dry for a while otherwise like I would smudge the black so I tried not to like touch it um, but yeah with my Melody I basically drew her out and then just yeah used that black pen to do it the outline and I thought it looked really good also what's good about using this kind of material because it's not very porous if you make any mistakes you can just like wipe it off so that's really handy as well so unfortunately this set isn't food safe that's why I'm like using the acrylics and stuff but it is going to be a really nice decoration and if you're interested you can always google pottery cafe and you could do a design there on like a plate or a bowl and they will fire it in the kiln and then it'll be absolutely food safe. I've done a few, you could always go on my TikTok. It's just at Zara Kalala 3 and you can check out what I've done in the pottery cafe. And lastly, to finish off, I just did my Melody's face. So for the teacup, I just went around the edge in the pink to match like my Melody. And then I grabbed a bow that I had so I've got some bows and this is just like a baby pink one and stuck it on with some double sided tape and I think the teacup just looks really cute and nice and simple. So can you guess the next character? I'm doing a similar theme by going around the edge. You'll probably be able to guess right now I'm doing Hello Kitty so I did bows all the way around the teacup saucer and I actually did use the paint that came with the kit and I think this was like the kind of pinky ready colour and the brush as well, it wasn't too bad. Then I drew Hello Kitty out in the same way as I did my melody, again using a reference picture and just using the black pen and then colouring in with my acrylic paint pens. So I did rub away some of like the black and then you can kind of see it went into like these cracks. So unfortunately a few of like the cake plates were like cracked and then the ink went into it and I couldn't get it out. So I actually came up with a solution to this later on which you will see it was the end of the video. For the bow I did use that same pink colour as I did on the saucer and then finished off Hello Kitty with my paint pens. And again for the saucer I did a similar thing, I put a pink bow on this time and went around the top edge with that pink colour. For cinnamon roll I did the saucer with cinnabons or like cinnamon buns around the edge and I used like a light pink colour. and. I also drew out the character of cinnamon roll on the cake plate. So this was like the worst plate for the cracks. Like you can see 
all the ink so I did take a few attempts to draw out a cinema and yeah the ink just all went into those cracks that's quite unfortunate but as you will see extremely extremely shortly my resolution for it so if you find that your nibs of your paint markers are too fat because they come in different sizes you can press down your paint marker on some paper or a paint palette and it will like push out some paint then you can use a paintbrush as you can see I'm doing here and just paint in those details because the nibs can be like quite fat sometimes depending on what ones you get and then once I'd done at cinema roll this was my saving grace I decided to take like the signature color and go around the whole of the character leaving a white edge so with the teacup, I went ahead and stuck on a white bow and did the edge in blue. It was really difficult deciding which colour bows to use, but I think they work well. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. For my final character, I did Karomi. So I had to do the skulls around the edge and I used the kind of purpley pastel purple colour rather than doing like the black because Karomi is sometimes like purple and white rather than like the black and white and I thought this would go a lot better with my other like pinks and blues of my melody cinema wrong hello kitty so i did the same thing drew the character out on the cake plate with my black marker pen and then filled it in with my paint marker so i really like this kind of project i'm doing let me know what characters you would have chosen or would you have gone with like just one character and done like one big theme or would you have chosen different sanrio characters or maybe not even sanrio maybe something completely different like pokemon or something like that yeah let me know in the comments i'll be interested to see what your ideas are just to neaten up like the edge of all the characters i went around with my fine line brush and some of the black acrylic paint pen i just pressed it out onto a piece of paper and dipped my brush in lastly i moved on to decorating the teapot and i kept this really simple by just doing like a kind of rainbow with the colors from the characters so like the blue the pink and then the like lilac slash purpley color that karomi is i did kind of struggle with the teapot i thought this was going to be like the standout piece of the whole project but I don't really think it is I I wanted to do the character faces but then I thought because I already had them on the plates it might be a bit too much and I wanted to keep the design a bit more simplistic as I don't know I just I just thought it might be a bit too kind of heavy anyway I don't know I think I feel like I'm rambling but yeah I just thought I can do the rainbow around it and it's quite nice because it like hugged the teapot and then I just went ahead and added some clouds and because the teapot and you know the whole set is like this kind of creamy white colour the clouds didn't stand out too much so I also went in with like a kind of beigey or like a, a very light yellow just to add a tiny bit of shade to the clouds just to help them to stand out a tiny bit and then my project was complete. I'm just going to kind of show you how everything looks so we've got the teapot it's got the rainbow I still think the clouds are a bit hard to see but it still looks cute and then let's move on to the characters so first of all we've got hello kitty her little teacup with the bow super cute the saucer with the bows all the way around and then the hello kitty plate that is so cute. And then next we have my melody. So again, saucer, I mean the teacup even, with a blue bow this time. Focus. And then the pink edge. We've got the saucer with the flowers. And then the my melody plate. That little face, so cute. Next we've got Karomi, so again, teacup with a bow, I've got the saucer, obviously Karomi's signature is like the little skull on her joker hat, and then we've got Karomi, I actually realised that I did do the skulls in the wrong colour on the saucer, but that's alright. And then lastly, there's cinema roll, so of course we've got the teacup, the white bow. I think I should probably put the white bow with 
I look at the pink one with my melody and the blue one with cinnamon. <laughs> but it still looks cute. And then what we've got the saucer with the cinnamon rolls all the way around the edge, making me crave some cinnamon rolls. And then the cake play. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun decorating it. Let me know which your favourite character is even if it's not one of these characters but what your favorite Sanrio characters in the comments and yeah don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to see more of my videos thank you so much for watching bye